They got you. Yes, you heard that right. In the vast digital landscape where data is the new gold, someone has managed to breach your defenses, but not your password yet. Your password might still be safe, but don't let that give you a false sense of security. Think you're too smart to be tricked? Think again. Social engineering is a sophisticated art and even the most vigilant can fall prey to it. Hackers love exploiting the weakest link in security, and often, that weakest link is human error. They study their targets meticulously, looking for any vulnerability. They might not need to write a single line of code if they can manipulate you into giving away sensitive information. They don't need fancy code if they can convince you to hand over the keys to the kingdom. Imagine a scenario where a seemingly harmless email tricks you into revealing your login details. It's like that time you told your friend their new haircut looked so modern just to avoid an awkward conversation. Only this time the stakes are much higher. Hackers exploit those same social vulnerabilities but with slightly higher stakes than a bad haircut. They use psychological manipulation to create a sense of urgency or trust. For instance, a phishing email might look like it's from your bank, urging you to update your information immediately to avoid account suspension. In a moment of panic you might click the link and enter your details, unknowingly handing them over to the hacker. Awareness and education are your best defenses. Stay informed about the latest tactics used by cyber criminals and always double check before sharing any personal information. Create strong unique passwords for each of your accounts and consider using a password manager to keep track of them. Enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. It adds an extra layer of security, making it harder for hackers to gain access. Stay vigilant and skeptical of unsolicited communications. Remember, in the digital world, it's better to be safe than sorry. Together, we can build a more secure digital future. Stay alert, stay informed, and don't let them get you. Social Engineering Hacking Humans 101 What is social engineering? It's hacking, but instead of targeting computers, they target. They manipulate, deceive, and exploit your trust to get what they want, your passwords, money, or even your identity. It's like that friend who convinces you to share your fries by saying they're just trying one. Except in this case, the fries are your bank account details. Tactic 1. Phishing. The classic bait and switch. You know those emails claiming you won the lottery you never entered? That's phishing. Hackers cast a wide net with official-looking emails hoping you'll bite. Click the link, enter your info, and boom! Your data is now fresher than a prince in Nigeria who needs your help. Section 4. Tactic 2. Pretexting. Because a fake identity never hurts. Ever get a call from someone claiming to be from IT? That's pretexting. Hackers create believable scenarios to impersonate someone you trust to extract information. They might say there's a problem with your account and need your password to fix it. Remember, a real IT person already has access to everything. They don't need your help or your password. Pretexting often starts with thorough research. Hackers gather information about their target from social media, public records, and other online sources. They use this information to craft convincing stories and emails that seem legitimate. For example, you might receive an email that looks like it's from your bank asking you to verify your account details. The email might include personal details to make it seem more authentic, making you more likely to fall for the scam. Once they have your information, they can use it to access your accounts, steal your identity, or commit other crimes. To protect yourself, always verify the identity of the person contacting you. If you're unsure, contact the organization directly using a known trusted method. Never share personal information over the phone or email unless you are certain of the recipient's identity. Stay informed about the latest tactics used by hackers and participate in cybersecurity awareness training. Use strong unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. By staying vigilant and taking these precautions, you can protect yourself from pretexting and other forms of cybercrime. Section 5 Tactic 3 Baiting Curiosity Killed the Cat and Your Data Remember that free music download that gave your computer a virus? That's baiting. It's a classic trick where hackers exploit your curiosity and desire for free stuff. Hackers exploit your curiosity by offering something enticing in exchange for clicking a link or downloading a file. They know that humans are naturally curious and often can't resist the temptation of a freebie. It's like that mysterious unmarked VHS tape in the attic. You know you shouldn't, but you just have to see what's on it. The same goes for that USB drive you found in the parking lot. You think, what could be on it? And before you know it, you've plugged it into your computer. Spoiler alert, it's probably malware. Once you take the bait, your system could be compromised and your data could be stolen or corrupted. The consequences can be severe, ranging from identity theft to financial loss. Always be cautious and think twice before clicking on suspicious links or downloading unknown files. Protect yourself by using reliable antivirus software and keeping your system updated. Stay informed and stay safe. 
Section 6. Don't be a victim, outsmarting the social engineers. So how do you avoid becoming a hacker's next victim? Be suspicious, verify everything. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Think before you click. And for goodness sake, stop using password 123.